Hi kids, it's Barbara from Styles for Miles 79 and I wanted to show you my Christmas present from my son and a couple other things, my December daily book and how clean everything is. So my son made this rack for me and um, they're two inch round uh, PVC pipe and then I believe they're cut to three and a half inches and then they're cut on the, I think it's a 45 degree angle. So, and I know that you're supposed to store your pens flat, but I don't have a lot of space, so I thought this was the best way to deal with that. Um, I received this um, hot glue gun holder uh, at the last Scrapbook Expo in Anaheim uh, in 2016, and um, it, it was a great gift from them. I find that it's easier for me to hold my thicker glues that, that you know, hold them upside down and my tiny attacher. And then um, I have some refill. The Tombow Mono in green is right here so that I have it um, ready for really fine. And this works for Tombow Mono, Tombow Aqua, and the... Um, uh, Oh, what's it called? Um, glossy accents. And then I have a few of my go-to sequins here. I have this in an old Mary Kay thing. It's just black. They're like matte pewter colored. Um, and then these. And then this is some stuff I just got. I haven't put it away yet. Um, it's basically confetti. These are like little deers and some sequins um, and then I'm sorry this stuff is all confetti and it's really heavy I got it from Target in the dollar bin and I was really surprised how heavy it is so I haven't put it away yet I'm not sure where it's going to go um, coaster for my coffee and then I use this mouse pad an old friend of mine gave me um, to do my stamping on because it gives you just that little bit of squish that you need um, <clears throat> and then um, I have my my piercing pad, um, some s templates, and my ruler sitting here. Just because I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to put them, I just did redid this area, um, so I'm still kind of trying to figure out where things are going to go. My a my ATG gun always goes there. Um, this is the stuff that I reach for the most that I've been using during the holidays. It has, um, it has oh, just a whole bunch of other, you know, a bunch of stuff in it. I made some strips, um, that, that you can, uh, that I can cut bits and pieces off and use kind of like tiny words and they already have the adhesive on the back. So I did a bunch of those, and I have some some fun enamel stickers, a bunch of other stickers, Ti Tim Holtz Tiny Words, some thank you stickers. These from um, these are from Webster's Pages. These right here, and I thought they were really pretty. They come in two colors, and then behind all that is just all this stuff I've cut up and made over time and that I want to um, use in different things so I just figured I'd leave it all in this tray and use it as my you know my desk top stash and these stars will probably go away now that I'm almost done with my December daily then I have this big space here now which I didn't have before because it was taken up by this and a bunch of other stuff so I pared all that stuff down, gave a bunch away, and now I can actually open um, and do two full layouts if I want to, 12 by 12. I know it's not super pretty, but that's okay. And then I store my cutters down here. I got this little one for Christmas I'm really happy with. And then back here, I store my um, self-healing uh, mat and my scoreboard. Um, and then up here, I got this, I forget the name of the company that sells these, and they come like this all over, and then you can paint them or distress them. You can see that I did like a, a little, you know, bit of pretty stuff on the top. 
and then um, I did a bunch of stuff on the side. I didn't leave myself post-it notes and stuff, and I store my um, EK Success powder tool, a spray bottle, extra glossy accents, my cleaning supplies, and I'm, I'm just going to use this up. I'm probably not going to purchase it again, but um, when I was a close to my heart consultant, I did purchase it with the cleaning um, with the cleaning gizmo. It's just hard to open. So anyway, and then a bunch of other glues. This is a great glue for using with um, cosmetic grade glitters and you uh, dab it onto your stamp. You stamp with the glue and make sure you wash your, your stamp off and then you can use your finger to rub the glitter in. It's really neat and it doesn't go anywhere afterwards. And then um, I have some shelves with, uh, like I have a, a book with hints and lists of things. I have my um, Copic, uh, my Copic chart of, and I don't have a lot of Copics yet, but, so that's okay. And then a few things I'm, I want to work on, some tags, some extra little tools that I don't use a whole m a lot. And then this is or was a uh, the container that you get your canning jars in and um, I just kind of brushed some some white uh, paint in here I'll probably do it more later um, and then wrapped it with some pretty paper and then I have my shelf of this is where I keep all of my uh, acrylic blocks and a few stamps that make me smile and things I want to get to quickly and then some buttons and um, my my light and then I have up here I know there's not it the lights not great sorry um, I have uh, the Adirondack uh, alcohol inks are over here and I don't use them very much um, and then I have all the all the uh, like what is it gesso and texture pastes and um, uh, metallic things and some of the some of the other inks are not inks but um uh glitter to use with that glue that I was mentioning and then in here are all my distress um my distress paints and sprays and daubers and inks and my Heidi shine um and and some other sprays there as well then I have up here my uh, my Zig Kiritaki Zig uh, clean color pens and some cards I've already made that I need to file, and then a couple things I change this out sometimes, but um, most of the time it's just you know that that one chunky album sits there. I'm really proud of it, so I like it up there. Anyway, that's all of my that's my crafty area. Here's a Sorry, I don't mean to make you sick. Here's a broad view. Okay, and then I wanted to show you my December daily. It's almost done, and I'm not sure I have anything to to do. Um, there's a couple pages that are empty, and I'm not sure if I'm going to fill them or not. We'll see. So here's the front, and I didn't do anything on the back. I'll probably just put the year in that little tag holder. I may or may not do another one. We'll see. So, um, and this is from Simple Stories, if I'm not mistaken, and they're like $10 and change for the book, and you get a bunch of stuff inside. I did another video, which I'll link to. In fact, I've done two videos, which I'll link to, um, that you can see uh, the kits. I, I put together kits for this. So, um, and there's my, the first day of December was cold enough for me to wear the scarf my friend had made for me a couple years ago. And then here's the story about that. And this is, it's going from December of 2016 into January 1st of 2017. So that's why I put all that in. And these are those enamel dots that you can order the clear and punch out the one inch circles and then put them together. And I sat in bed and did those while I was watching TV. Um, this is just a, a pretty page. This is from um, Scrapbooking Made Simple. Um, last year's Christmas uh, tree die. And then I used um, 
I forget the who makes the stencil, but I use the stencil and then some gold Heidi shine. Um, and these, uh, all of this stuff uh, is listed in that other video, so I'm not going to go into great detail. And this is my friend who passed away this year, so I put her in there. And this is the story of her and how her mom and my mom met each other. And then these are flip um, flip flaps from Close to My Heart, and I'm hooked on these. I love them. They're very good uh, uh, thickness, and they protect stuff well, and they come in a ton of different sizes. So go to Close to My Heart, and um, you'll find them there. And that's her sister, Carol, and her when they were little. This is my granddaughter, Laurel, when she, I'm sorry, Bellamy, when she was two, um, when we had her as, her dad put her up on the sh on top of the refrigerator as our little elf on the shelf. And then um, this is Laurel. This year, is, she's our elf on the shelf from a trip we took. Um, this is our Christmas tree during the day. I just thought it was really pretty, so I took a picture of it. And then this is a gift I made for um, my sister. Um, I bought this at, at Target, and it was just completely white. It didn't have any de decorations on it. So I used um, I used some of this gel medium, and then I used the Mega Flakes and by Indigo Blue. These things are wonderful and they're so pretty. And you can get this at Scrapbooking Made Simple as well. Plus, I'm sure a bunch of other places. And then I made it look like it was the um, velveteen that, that comes on the antlers here and up in here. And then I added a bunch of extra flowers around behind. And then I did some more of the, uh, of the mega flakes down here. This, um, I was making cards. A friend of mine needed five Christmas cards, so I made some for her and kept one for myself. Um, we have a big window, and you can see it's, you know, you can see the backyard here. But the, the big window, um, sometimes the hummingbirds race past it, and sometimes they hit the window. This feather is only like that big. It's like the smallest feather I've ever seen, and when you looked at it in the right light, it was iridescent. So and then my granddaughter was in a nighttime light lit parade. That's her right there. And then um, I had this, um, I found this, it's ribbon, believe it or not. And I just like cutting it apart and using it uh, in bits and pieces. And these are homemade enamel dots. Um, this is football with our friends. That's me. That's my hubby. And our friends, Tina and Mike. And then just some close-ups. Um, this is when the tree was lit up at night. And then my mother-in-law has a white tree that I thought was fun it, you know, to take some pictures of lit up at night. And this is the day that I was finally able to get all the packages ready to ship. Yay! So then I treated myself to a, a caramel frap. And Lindsay, my daughter, Lindsay, she hooked me on them. Um, this is my son and my husband and um, they were cooking and they made us shrimp scampi and artichokes and yummy and this is just the top of, of a Christmas box that I just thought was so pretty and I was sending it off I've been hoarding it because I thought it was so cute so I sent and I was sending it off so I had to take a picture of it just to have a memory and again the homemade enamel dots these are the big pony beads and these are the perler beads they make the small ones they're pretty easy. You can find a video on, on YouTube. Um, just a family Christmas card. And this one just reminded me of how pretty the Christmas trees are at Disneyland. So I kind of tried to make it look kind of Disney-ish, you know, in here. And these are just um, dies that I have from over the years. Um, and another fa family friend's. And uh, my daughter's Christmas table, she sent me a picture of how pretty it was. And this is our Christmas table. And it's so funny, we're both in the in the poinsettia mood this year. I thought that was funny. Um, and then my dog, Brody, and he just, he was finally done with Christmas. And it was only the 13th. <laughs> so we live in California, and we don't get the white Christmas. So we set up our little white Christmas 
village, but this is really what it looked like across the street. They have this beautiful tree. So finally got colors changing decent enough on the 14th for me to take a picture. And this is uh, some family friends, or not friends, but um, family, cousins. And just a pretty a pretty page. These pages come with the, the book itself, and so do, like... This page here, this page, and a bunch of others, they come with the book. And then I just thought that this was um, really pretty, you know, with the star. Um, we follow the star, and it's at Christmas time, and, you know, a little bit of my faith showing through. With um, some Tim Holtz Distress Ink, some white gesso, and some Heidi Shine. I don't know if you can, there it is, it's shiny. You can see the Heidi Shine. And then um, Marcy, T, uh, Marcy Tiara, which is Tracy Banks, she did a challenge um, for her Christmas daily, and one of them was past, present, and future uh, Christmases. So I wrote a story about how my mom used to, what we used to do for our Christmas when I was a kid, and how my mom used to make uh, baked goods for our neighbors. And this is another page that comes in with the book. Um, then this is finally got our Christmas uh, presents done and under the tree. My husband and I cooking and watching football together. I love cooking with him. He's so much fun. Um, just a fun page. I didn't really have anything for the 17th. I was just, you know, cleaning and doing regular stuff. So there wasn't really much to do there. And this was just a fun page to do. Kind of like, you know, the stockings over the mantle and everything. <clears throat> this was another page that came with the book. And then um, this was fun. I had these pieces, and I had put texture paste on them and then Inca gold over. No, I'm sorry. It was gold texture paste, but they were kind of blah. So I I put a bit, bit of glue on them and pushed in some um, glitter onto it and then I got had this glittery paper that was part of the kit and the hearts that were in the kit the sequins that were in the kit and I just tattered the corners and things um, we went to my mother-in-law and I went to a lunch a friend of ours was having a jewelry trunk show at a restaurant so this was a um, sangria and it was really good and there she is she has her she has her um, a really nice uh, business for, sorry for the glare, for jewelry. It's really pretty. And that's my mom-in-law and myself. And then, like I said, there are pages that I haven't even done yet. I dated them, but I, there's really nothing that happened on the 21st and the 22nd. And the 23rd, I just took this picture of my son and the dog. And there was nothing for the 23rd. And I didn't do anything for the 24th except clean house, sweep, and mop. So here's Christmas, Christmas Day, and what we got at Christmas. And you can't see Michael's present down here, but there, he's opening a present. And then that Christmas morning, and then later in the day, we had family over, and we played giant Jenga. It was so much fun. If you want to know the information on that, you can private message me, and I'll get it to you. Um, and then a cousin and just, you know, a pretty, this was on the news and it's, it's actually, oh, I put it in upside down. <laughs> it's, um, from Mount Wilson. I just threw it in there last night. It's from Mount Wilson. Let's see. And it's a, can it's a picture of Los Angeles on a nice clear night. I'm trying to get the glare. It's just so pretty. I had to take a picture of it. Sorry. I'll put that right side up later. And then I haven't decorated this page in the front here, but I did do this. Of course, we have to document when people pass, you know, so they'll both be missed. And then on the 27th, went to lunch, my son and my husband and I. We all went to lunch and had sushi, and it was just yummy. Then another just decorated page. Oh, I'm sorry, that was the 20. Yeah, it was the 27th. It was still the 27th. And I have the 27th here as well. There's more pictures. You can see I really didn't do much here. It's pretty empty still. And then um, 
the first. We went to a party, but I really don't have the pictures ready for that. I'm going to put those in the back, you know, more pages over on this side, you know. So that's it. I hope you like it. And the back of my cover is not decorated because I figured it'd slide in and out much easier. But that's it. That's my December daily and my craft room all nice and clean. I hope you all have a fabulous year of 2017, and I wish you all the very best. Bye!